and I'm back with another YouTube video welcome back to my channel um this is gonna be like a kind of a review and just giving you some tips on what to pack um, in your hospital bag yeah guys let's start off with the review base just dropped their um, baby diaper bags like um, like the book bag version and as soon as I saw it I was like oh my god I gotta have this two days later it was at my door this bag is super duper cute the water bottle by the way did not come with the bag i ordered the water bottle because it was so cute <laughs> but the bag is so cute you because it's like a book bag you put it on your back super cute right and i wanted something like this because i hate those like tote bags like oh i hate tote bags so i got this bag and it's so freaking cute like it's light and the um the material is material is really soft. When you open it, you get a changing pad. So when you like at the you know in the um, stores or some like restaurant, you gotta put the changing pad down. It comes with a changing pad, which is so cute. That's why when you first open the bag, and you also got this inside of it <laughs> when you first open the bag and it's like really spacious like look at all that space it's deep it's really deep Aww. it's deep down there the baby's with me so if you hear fuss and don't be looking that's what i'm looking at the baby's with me um it's really deep so also it comes with another little bag how cute and I was watching Shay video and she was saying like this is like for like dirty diapers or like extra clothes or wet clothes or whatever. Um, this is another, this is another strap. So you can put them on the sides if you want to like attach them to anything or you can want to attach this to something you can use that. Um, this is another little bag that comes that's for the patsies, which I love. I love this, this is so cute. And it comes with a little toy. Oh, this is so cute. It comes with a little ring, I guess like a little teething ring. It comes with, I think that is so cute. And it all comes inside this bag, but this bag is like for whatever, basically whatever you want to use for, but she said that you can like put dirty clothes or, um, or like, diapers or whatever you want to just throw inside it but I think this is super cute and it comes with all these different compartments like deep compartments like you see look at my hand deep <laughs> all of my elbow is in this bag like deep compartments like okay well this is just in this compartment let me put my whole hand in the bag and look look how deep this bag is like do you see how deep this bag is? You can put so much stuff in this bag. I really wanted this bag because I travel a lot. Well, with the pandemic and stuff like that, no one's going anywhere. But I know at some point I'm gonna be traveling to my family, going out of the state and stuff like that. And it has a lot of different little compartments in the inside, which is so stinking cute, where you can put bottles. It's actually like a little warming pad, like a cooling pad in here that you can put your bottles in that can keep the bottles cool or warm or whatever. It's like a temperature um, adjusted pad in there. And it's some more other little compartments that you can put diapers and clothes. It's, it's a lot of compartments in here and I wish you guys could see all of these compartments. You have this one over here where you can put, like I said, you can put like the bottles to keep it warm or hot. And you have another little zipper over here that you can put little things in, maybe like pacifiers or I don't know, like little little tiny things you can put inside here. Like it has a lot, a lot, a lot of compartments, which I really, really like. <gasps> God bless you, baby. This bag values at um, $138, if I'm not mistaken. Love this bag and I highly recommend, recommend it. Especially if you're a mom that's like on the go a lot, that's always doing things. Like 
I probably will be editing. Like they have like a little pouch back here. I can put my like my tablets and stuff like that. All my extra chargers for my camera. Like I'm a vlogger and all that kind of stuff. So I, this is great for like traveling with my camera and my iPad and all of my other gadgets. So I love this bag. This bag is a must. Okay, let's put that. Okay, let's get to what we all came here for: hospital bags. So, I have another boy's bag, and this one is the Weekender bag. This is what this was my hospital bag. I wanted something big because, I, like I said, I had my camera, my chargers, um, water, Gatorade, um, all that good stuff. So, I needed something big to carry that stuff. So, I highly recommend you guys pack extremely light. Get a big bag, but pack light. So, in my hospital bag, like I said, I had snacks that gave me like energy um like like granola bars like energy bars i had things like that i had um water and i had um gatorade vitamin water um and i had like my going home outfit i had some hospital um slippers that i could wear walk around in and i had my regular um like shoes that i was gonna go home with and I had like, um, I had this, let me just show you, this outfit that I wanted, like not an outfit, but it was like a little nightgown that I wanted to wear after the fact, it's pink, I got this from Boohoo. Like this thing, I haven't checked, washed the clothes yet inside my hospital bag, but I, I bought this. And that was literally it. And like my toiletries, like my toothbrush and um, face wash and stuff like that, like that was it, that's all, like literally, all I bought. One outfit to go home, something to change out of once the baby was born, that's it. For the baby, I kind of did too much, a little bit. Um, I bought like onesies, his clothes that he's gonna go home in. That's what I bought. Oh, and I bought re uh, receiving blankets, that's what I bought. That's what I bought for in his bag. But I did too much, and I said this, I say this because they give you everything that you need in those those two um those two days that you're going to be in the hospital in recovery they give you everything that you need they don't recommend you put on your clothes that you have for the baby because they will come in frequently do you hear me like every freaking 20 minutes they will come in the room to check vitals on you and the baby so you don't really want him to have on like um like onesies or like the with the pants or like like the zipper ones no, they literally put him in, they put the baby in like this little long sleeve t-shirt and that's it. And they swaddle him, swaddle the baby, that's it. So when they come, they can unswaddle him and just check his vitals, get to his legs and check, his, check the diaper really quickly without having to take him or get him undressed. So that's why they recommend you don't like bring clothes to put him in after, after your baby is born. So leave that stuff at home only bring what he's going to wear to go home bring his bag but just put that inside just his outfit to go home in and that's it because in that little um bassinet kind of cart thing that they push the babies around the baby sleeping there's a drawer there and it's filled with everything that you need bottles bottles like this these similar bottles they change them every um every time they take them they put more um similac inside the cart they give you diapers they give you wipes they give you receiving blankets they give you another one like a couple of those shirts that he's wearing they give you um uh, um lotion shampoo um baby wash they give you all that stuff inside his little cart that they push you around in, and that's your stuff to keep when it's time to go home. They send you home with a bag like this that has diapers in it. Like this is a, a cooling, um, a cooling bag that you put like your breast milk in. They have like ice packs, and they give you a little thing that has gift cards, which is super cute. I love this. I haven't looked at it yet, but it gives you gift cards. They give you a ton of like wipes, like um AD ointment, but um butt paste and all that stuff. So this is like for like your milk and, and all that stuff. It's like a little freezer bag. And they give you diapers, like a crap little diapers. And they give you nipples for the Similac bottles. They they, don't, they expect you to change the nipples and stuff. Laundry detergent. They give you all these samplers. They give you a lot of stuff. So that's why I'm saying, like, if you do decide um, to bring a baby back, 
bring a big bag, one outfit, and so you can put, cause this bag was really big. It was a, a lot of stuff inside this bag. And I took the stuff out because you know, he's been born for a week and I've been using stuff. So you can just put this bag inside the baby bag. God bless you, baby. Also, they give you a bag for you as well. Which I said, don't bring anything. Don't bring nothing. They give you everything. Don't pack anything. Only pack your clothes to go home in, some snacks, like your iPad or your, your camera, like that stuff. Don't pack like nothing else that you need in recovery because they give you everything that your little heart desires. I do suggest you bring your own pads. Like I, I suggest you bring always because the hospital pads are really thin and you constantly have to change them like frequently. The nurse taught me how to like change myself. So these are the hospital pads. They're really thin as you can see. They're not really absorbent. They're really thin. And the always pass the number five, you know, them things, them things big, them things take off. So <laughs> I suggest you get those. So this is like, this is your pad. These are your little diapers that you wear, your little panties. They're like, um, they're like um, stockings. So these are your little panties that you wear. And this is like, you know, little panties that you wear. So they give you these to wear, and then they give you like I call these the BB pads because that's what they look like. They give it, oh, they give you a crap load of these. They give you a bag of these, and this is what it is. This is how big it is. Yes, this is how big it is, ladies. This is how big it is, and you have to put one pad here, one pad there, one pad here, one pad there because you're gonna bleed that much, especially that first day after the baby is out. Gerba, those first four days, I'm like, am I dying? Is this even okay for this much blood to come out? Like, what the hell? And also, you're gonna be bleeding for six weeks, and I did not know that. This thing go like this, like, <laughs> booty to front. But I like this. This is actually one thing that I really did like, especially when you're in those first couple of days when you're bleeding really heavy. This is great because you don't have leakage. It covers you all over. You don't have leakage. So you're going to get a lot of these. These are like what I have left. But I haven't used these since like the, I want to say, I came on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I used it until like Wednesday and then I stopped using them because they my period... The blood got light, so I was only able to use this one always pad, and now I'm good. I can just use one pad. So it comes comes with a lot of stuff, and then you get your um yeah. These are like Tux, but this is not the, the Tux brand, but this is what it is. It's with hazel pads. You can't wipe down there, so you they just put the they just put them on their pad just to help with the the itching and the the you know the pain. Um, and then he also gives you bathing cloth. Like I said, you still can't wipe down it. You can wipe your butt, but you can't wipe your u haul yet. You gotta use your handy dandy spray bottle, which comes everywhere with you. When you go out, you put it in your pocketbook, put it in your bra, put it wherever you feel like you can squeeze it at. Cause this is, this is your tissue for the next six weeks. Okay. This is your tissue. This is your washcloth. This is everything for the next six weeks. So they give you this. So like I said, they give you a lot of things. And what else did they give me? Um, oh, they gave me two bags of these, the panties. Like, they give you a lot of stuff, so you don't really need a lot of things when you go into the hospital. So try to pack light. Like, literally, all you need is an outfit for you guys to go home in, an outfit for you after you get out the shower, or you can just wear the hospital gown. They'll give you a fresh hospital gown. You can just wear that. But that's up to you. Wear something light, but also don't wear something um, that's long sleeve. Um, and if you do wear some long sleeve, make sure you can um, unbutton it and roll it up because they're still going to give you, like, one of those days they're going to come and take blood. And they, ooh, that still hurt. Ooh. That's been over a week. That still hurt. And you still got the IV here. So they got to come and check everything and do your blood pressure so they want to be able to get to your arms and stuff like that. So make sure whatever you wear, make sure you're able to get out of it. And also if you're breastfeeding, you don't want something that you can't, like you have to take off, you know, you want to just unbutton it and just pull out the titty. You know, just keep that stuff in mind. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Until then, be safe, be well, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.